September 13th, Good Motivation. Did you grow up being regaled with fairy tales? These whimsical stories tell of a virtuous character who faces well, some sort of challenge or oppression. Through hard work, dedication, and usually a strong moral compass, however, they prevail to live happily ever after. Inspiring, right? Well, we can sometimes view our own lives through such a storybook lens. We begin to expect that being good, or moral, will bring us the reward of a happy life. And we want to reach our happily ever after as soon as possible. The problem is, when being good doesn't deliver the perfect life we envisioned, we can become disillusioned and we can easily fall away. Today, we'll meet a woman who grew up in the church and worked hard to do the right thing. But would this last in the face of hardship? She's here to share with us her true story on this Unshackled Daily Devotional. I'm Kay Arthur. I became a nurse when I grew up and met Tom in college. He was the ideal man who swept me off my feet. On our honeymoon, I learned that he was manic depressive, beginning six years of an emotional roller coaster ride. Our children were born while Tom was in the Navy. When he became disenchanted with military life, he tried seminary for a year. He dropped out there and tried engineering. His depression grew worse, affecting me. I became a model, which made him jealous, and he hit me one night, ending our marriage. I became immoral, rejecting God completely, going from man to man. Christian friends shared the gospel with me, and I finally cried out to God, asking His forgiveness and trusting Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. My faith grew as I began to read the Bible. Then I met a wonderful Christian and fell in love, but he broke it off because I was divorced. So I tried to share Christ with my ex-husband, but he refused. One day in desperation, he ended his life. I sold my belongings and took my children to another state to Bible college. God provided a job, a house, and joy in spite of hardship. There I married a missionary, and together we established a teaching ministry to help others understand the freedom that Christ alone can give. The Apostle Peter wrote in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 15 and 16, But as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Friend, why we are striving to be good makes all the difference. If we are motivated only by the good life we hope to get in return, our dedication will quickly disappear. Instead, we are instructed to set our sights on our Heavenly Father, seeking His pleasure and growing in His likeness. After all, being like Him is the only reward we'll ever need. Will you receive this truth today? Unshackled, the longest-running audio drama in history, airs on over 3,000 radio stations worldwide. Real people, real-life stories, stirring dramatic accounts of hopelessness and the hope that changes everything. This award-winning program grips the heart with compelling and relevant stories of transformed lives. Without Jesus Christ, we are all shackled by sin. But God is at work, and the power of Christ sets us free of our bondage. Listen to a new devotional every day, and don't forget to tell your friends about Unshackled Daily Devotionals.